Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, the series here on uh, Medicine Creek, Creek County Farming. Uh, so we're back here on Green Family Farms. Uh, got a lot to do still on this farm. Still got this. Uh, we're still in that first day, but uh, we are done with well close to done with tillage up on the uh north farms over there by the uh north bins we got one big field that sits just on the south side of those bins that we need to do um we got or we just picked the guys up uh, from those bins probably about two hours ago and they're gonna call it a day they've been going pretty hard for the past few days so I would say it's about a little less than half of our acres are now finished at least being fitted um, and then we got our a few days ago we got our liming done so we only limed about probably a little less than a quarter of our acres just the fields that really needed it uh the ones that were sitting majority of yellow on our precision farming data and then what else have we been going on um it's pretty much just working on machinery and uh yeah i've spent uh since picking the guys up from the uh, bins i've been spending some time mixing some chemical so this is the first time I've been the sprayer out this year, and uh, we're just heading down to our south farms here. We've got two farms here on the south that are planted in winter wheat. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do some uh, spraying, get some uh, weeds burned down. Just passing Fitz uh, and Sons farm here neighbors to the south they uh they run about a thousand twelve hundred twelve hundred acres maybe so a little bit over a thousand acres that's about what they run this field here is theirs uh this field is ours here we uh this is the last field that we actually limed uh fits he runs a hog operation up here uh, they kind of had a, have themselves a little satellite uh, farm over here where got their bins and some hog uh, hog styes so let's get in here we got this field here that we need to spray neighbors Fitz's field a lot of these fields down here are Fitz's right around his farm so uh, I'm gonna get the uh, GPS all set up and all that good stuff. Lots of testing I need to do right now since this is the first time being out. And uh, catch you guys in a little bit once we're rolling. So we're rolling here, just passing the uh, Fitz pig farm over there. So and we're on our GPS course going heading east and west. Got our end rows done, our end row. Only need about one end row with the uh, big booms we got here. So didn't really mess around with uh, getting the tender truck or anything filled up 
this evening. We're just out here testing stuff, uh, and making making sure we're ready to go for the rest of our acres. So we'll probably just get this one field done, possibly the next that's right across that tree line there. And uh, and yeah, we'll uh, hit it hard tomorrow in the next few days, and we'll get the the uh, chemical spread on our er, on our uh, wheat. So. Things are coming along. Gonna be starting planting here soon, soon enough. So, uh, looking forward to that. Just get turned around here. Pick that turn a little too uh, tight. Probably could have started turning a little bit earlier, but you know. We're still, uh, first time in the sprayer. We're still, uh, figuring it out. Oh, okay. GPS is not wanting to, not wanting to, uh, work with me. So. There we go. Alrighty. Back on track. So. Yeah. Uh, we'll be, keep going on this and, uh. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow and when we're uh, out doing some more field work. So we got ourselves a relatively early start this morning. Uh, just got dropped off. And uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of tillage this morning. So... Uh, we got this big field, like I said, that just sits on the south side of these bins. I said like I said, but I did say it in, uh, on Instagram. So there's a plug for you. Um, if you guys want to kind of follow along with what's going on outside of the videos, you feel free to follow my Instagram account. I, st I started, or I made my first post the other day on the uh, Instagram account kind of following along with this because there's so much going on and you know, it's kind of fun to do that you know share your screenshots and stuff uh, but anyway I think it's uh, simulation station FS I think that's the username but what I'm gonna say or what I'm was saying is we have this big field here on the south side of the bins and uh, we're going to be kind of splitting the field up, so he's going to be starting over there in this big section. It's going up and down, and uh, I will be starting over here on the west side of the field as well, but going to be kind of on the south side, so we're going to kind of split it up, and we're going to kind of work towards each other, in a sense, so that's kind of what we're going to do. That's the plan, at least. That's how we tackle fields if we're in it together both cultivators because obviously this is a 60 foot and that's a 35 foot so we uh... our gps lines and all that stuff would be all wonky so we start on opposite ends of the field and then we just meet up in the middle so that is the plan but so once we get to the end uh down here there's a field entrance over here that's why we're going down this way figured it's much better to take the the dirt road instead of driving across the field the whole way so we'll get uh get in here get unfolded and we'll uh, start going
Just heading down to the next field here. It's actually that field on our right that we just passed, but the uh, field entrance is all the way over on the west side of the field. Uh, this is field that we uh, purchased not too long ago and uh, from a guy that farms uh, west of here. Um, actually see my relief there. He's sitting waiting for me in the field entrance. Got to drive through the trees. Bit of a tight squeeze with this uh, big cultivator. So yeah, we uh, got some relief and he'll be taking over currently we got the other cultivator running in this big field here I'll actually show you quick on the map um, so this is the field we're gonna be working we just finished up this one I was doing the last bit of headlands over here in this in this part but we sent him down here and he's just starting to do the headlands around uh, this big field so he'll be tackling that while we're in here um, he got this one done already as well and then there's a as you can see there's a pretty good sized crick that runs through these fields so you got to kind of be careful with that so um, we'll have him run and uh, do this one as well with the smaller cultivator since it kind of takes some more precision pre precision um, so kind of starting to work our way south like the plan was and uh, Start kind of on our southwest and head east and then back up towards the farm where we have to finish up the big old field sit that sits right uh, next to the farm. So things are moving, but uh, yeah, rel relief is here and uh, we'll head back to the farm and uh, get uh, some spraying done. So we got it kind of dialed in. The other day when we when I took you along for our first spray so uh, we'll get the rest of the wheat field sprayed and uh, yeah so I'll uh, catch you guys uh, when we are over to the sprayer and uh, doing some spraying work just getting back to the farm here park up over by the uh, fuel tank for the shop quick and uh, before we get spray in we actually gotta get the uh, air drill out and uh, air cedar air drill whatever you want to call it uh, out and uh, start on those oats so gonna get the tender filled with the oat seed and then uh, get this going and uh, we'll get somebody in there and start on that got a f we got a section to the north here these three section or these three fields here that we're gonna be going with oat in and then I think we're planning on doing oat in this field as well yeah 49 so we got these three fields and then this one over here by the bins that's going to go into oats. So just a few fields and oats and then we have our wheat fields. Uh, these two here, this one, this one, and these two down there. So And then the rest of the fields that are open are going to be going into corn and beans. So that is the plan. Just hop in here. Get her fired up quick. Pull her out. I'm gonna fill this thing with seed. It certainly should have pulled my truck up a bit more. Jeez. Kind of parked in the middle of nowhere. We're going to fill the tender up and then we are going to fill the cedar up. Grab this 
guy here. Open that. Swing the auger out quick. Got to get the tarp uncovered. Tarp uncovered there. Up in the Manitou. These seeds down here at the end are our oat seed. Sure didn't make this easy on ourselves by packing the shed full. <laughs> Gonna have to get that uh, split road planter moved out here at some point. Really like this uh, cart because you can just swing the auger out and it fills both ways. It's really nice. Trying to think where I want to stack these boxes. We don't want to put them back in. You know, we're gonna put these ones back in. Back in here. Just stack them up against the wall over here. This tender takes about four of these pro boxes. shelf there a little bit. <laughs> Gotta be careful. This uh, this forklift uh, sure makes things nice getting around in the shop when you got equipment laying around everywhere, kind of tight to get around and spins on a dime, which is really nice. For a long time we just used our, uh, well not a long time, because that's a relatively new uh, vehicle that we have there, that uh, Manitou telehandler, but uh, we, used, we used that and uh, you had to, we uh, wanted to get to the seed with that, we'd uh, need to clear out this planner and probably even that planner to even get to it with the with the telehandler so I don't think she might actually be full maybe I underestimated the uh, capacity of the tender there 
Yeah, she looks pretty full, so swing this auger back in. Nice electric control box there. Makes things easy. There we go. So I'm just going to get uh, a few of these boxes brought out and we will load these directly into the cedar there but uh, yeah that will that job will work right require the uh, telehandler there so so now that that job's done uh, we got Phil he came down uh, Phil's uh, one of our two retired guys that works with us he uh, he's gonna be driving truck for us drives a lot of tender truck for us in the spring and summertime and then uh, he's trucking for us in the uh, winter as well he is a retired truck driver so he <laughs> does the job well and uh, so he's been down here getting these uh, two beautiful pieces of equipment filled up with chemical and uh, we're gonna hop in the sprayer and head down to the field and get to uh, Get that uh, wheat sprayed. Hold the ladder up. Pull her out. This new uh, sprayer shed has been a really great addition to the farm. We used to have our tank sitting outside, and it's just kind of nice to be able to do it inside especially on these cooler spring days get the chemical mixed and because it's not the it's not the quickest process in the world but so I think it was definitely a good addition to this farm so but anywho I'll catch you guys down at the field Alright, so we are just back down at the field here. Yes, this is the same field that we were in last time, but uh, found that we had some strips in, in this field that did not get sprayed. So I'm thinking we had some issues with our GPS line or something, because yeah, it uh, didn't didn't quite do what we were hoping it would do so we got to go through and spray these again it's been long enough to where it shouldn't burn the feet or burn the wheat any so looks like uh, old Fitzy's out in his field right now either him or his son running there running some tillage themselves so anyway uh, so we're gonna get unfolded and we're gonna get uh, get this figured out and hopefully it works properly so are these booms down? Set her right down to the ground. There we go. Alright. Well, I'll get uh, GPS course set up and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. As you can see, we're, we're going. So we're running her about 18 mile an hour up and down the field. Getting pretty low on chemical actually already. So... Phil should be arriving here soon with a truck. He was just finishing getting that uh, batch mixed up. and So we'll probably, right after this pass, pull over to the, or pull, get back to the edge of the field and uh, wait to get filled up. So that's kind of the plan for today. So I think that's probably what we're going to call it a video. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Your, I appreciate you guys for watching. So, we'll uh, catch you 
here and probably planting season here on Green Family Farm. So, catch you later.